Hello everyone. In this segment, we'll see how to write VHDL code for 4 is to 1 marks using case statement. In my previous lecture, I explained you how to write VHDL code using the same 4 is to 1 marks using data flow style of model. So let us see the same segment. Here we have the segment where we are accepting four inputs, and the decision of which input to be treated as an output is taken by the select line as S1 and S2. And depending on the truth table, where the select line 00011011, our outputs are connected with the lines as D0, D1, either D2 or D3. Now, when we want to write VHDL code using case statements, here it is essential to deal with the truth table. So let us start with defining the first element as library, which is IEEE. We'll use it as use IEEE dot standard logic 1164 dot We'll end it or we'll start with declaring the entity as entity marks 4 is to 1 is. Now in case of code, we'll write the four input terms starting with D0, D1, D2, D3, which are input standard logic. And a select line as input standard logic vector whose length is 1 down to 0. So that we'll get the terms as S1 and S2. And a single output as Y. Now we'll end the entity and we'll come across declaring the architecture. Here. The architecture is style is behavior and entity name is box. We'll initialize the architecture by writing the statement as begin. Henceforth, we'll declare now process statement where the formal parameter list is going to be S that stands for select line and our four inputs store starting with D0 to D3. Now let us initialize the process statement with the help of begin. Now I will declare the case expression as case. S is that stands for case select line is now the select line combinations are going to be 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so we'll write the statement first as when the select line is 0 0 now when select line combination is 0 0 y should be connected to d0 so you can write y should be less than or equals to d0 similarly when 0 1 your output is connected with d1 for 1 0 combination output y is connected with d2 and for 1 1 y is connected with d3 now for these four conditions either the input starting from d0 to d3 will be correct now if none of the condition is satisfied we'll write the last condition when others writing this statement is quite essential in case of declaring the case statement when others your output will be undefined that is written as x x x x finally We'll end the case statement, we'll end the process statement, and we'll end the architecture. So whatever the terms which we are specified, that should be ended. In this way, you can write the VHDL code for 4 is to 1 marks or 8 is to 1 marks using case statement. Even if you can write the same code using if else statements also, that we'll see in next lecture. I hope you understood the concept of writing VHDL code using data flow style of modeling. For multiplexer as well as using case statements. Thank you very much.